There are times where I genuinely hate the ideas that go through my brain, and I think this is one of them. Um, welcome to Moon. I'm doing gun game, and I'm not leaving Area 51. <laughs> like, at all. I'm actually very glad that I got, um... I got Jug off the rip. Like, this is the first attempt, and I've managed to get Jug straight away, which is huge. Alright? Actually, incredible. So, maybe, maybe this isn't gonna be as bad as I'm thinking it's gonna be. Maybe the luck's on my side. Maybe. Maybe I'm gonna be blessed. Or, maybe I'm gonna hate absolutely everything I'm about to go through, and this is single-handedly the most excruciating thing I've ever put myself through. <laughs> Who knows? I don't! So obviously, I've been loving doing the gun games in Zombies of late. And one of my favorite ones that I've done so far is the Nax Zero and Totem one. Oh my god, I almost got the mode straight away. <laughs> As I was saying, my most favorite one that I've done so far is the Nax one, where we did, obviously, gun game with the World War II weapons, and I didn't use any perks. A lot of fun. Pretty painful at times, but it was a lot of fun nonetheless. I've been wanting to scratch that itch again of doing like a challenge based, uh, like gun game idea again. I kind of thought to myself last night, why don't I do like a spawn room challenge version of it, right? You know, we use the gun game and we can't leave spawn. We do it on like the giant, you know, or maybe we do it on like Shadows of Evil, something like that, maybe Keener the Totem. And then I kind of thought to myself, I haven't played Moon in a long, long time. Mainly because me and Moon, we don't get along, and if you've been around for a while, <laughs> you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but me and this map don't get along, not the biggest Moon fan, not gonna lie. And then I was scrolling through YouTube last night, and you know like how like every now and then, like YouTube will just like suggest a video f to you from like, eons ago? Well that basically happened, it was uh, a Codename Pizza video of him speedrunning Moon from like, I think it was like 3-4 years ago or something. I sat down, I watched it, and then I kind of thought to myself, do you know what? This is, this is the sign. This is my sign to play Moon again. So here we are. And so far, this hasn't been that bad. Apart from that dog that almost just uh, blitzed me. I think if I can just keep this circle going without getting trapped, we will be fine. But obviously, that's a big ol' if. Although thankfully, these guns are actually very powerful. However, I do feel like the difficulty in this is gonna come when I start killing mass amount of zombies like we just did with that 725, and all the zombies start respawning ahead of me like this, and we might get ourselves trapped. And yes, I did just duck out of the way in real life because <laughs> it helps, okay? Oh my god, I hate this. Why am I doing this? Oh, I've screwed that up. I didn't go- I didn't go into the pack punch room, and I gotta turn the f train around. I haven't even bought a jug yet. Uh, mainly just because I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to do so. Just yet. I've- like, I've wasted so much time already. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Those dogs- No! This is why I didn't want to happen. You get stuck. Just things don't go your way. You get stuck, you get hit, and you get demoted. These dogs are so fast. All right, I gotta buy jug. I gotta buy jug. I gotta buy jug. Do not teleport. Whatever I do, do not teleport. Not allowed to teleport. Teleporting is a fail. Don't do it. Thank you. Oh my god, thank god he died. Yep, get me out of there. Okay, this is fine. This is really, really, really fine. <laughs> oh my god. I'm also doing this with the MW 2019 weapons pack. I kind of feel like these weapons kind of fit Area 51. I don't know why, but they do to me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But I'm just kind of thought to myself, it kind of fits the uh, the theme, the area of Area 51. Why don't we just use MW 2019 weapons? I feel like Vedansk era Area 51 kind of all blends in to me for some reason. I don't really know why. It just kind of does. And I also just really, really like these guns, to be honest. And I kind of wanted an excuse to use this mod again. Oh my god. I oh, see, this is what I really don't like now is all of the zombies have died. They're all now going to start respawning. And I'm going to just be in a world of hell when that starts to happen because there's just going to be zombies flooding in from every which were, and I'm just going to get trapped, and I'm going to die, and I'm going to get really, really mad. Also, the fact that these dog spawns are constant. Like, there's there's no break in dogs. Like, the, the dogs are probably going to be... Uh, what? There's the struggle here, basically. <laughs> like, it's as simple as that. Uh, also realizing, um, I did turn on custom power-up drops in the mod to try and maybe, like, weasel my way of getting a couple extra perks. Now realizing that I'm not getting any drops at all because it's Area 51. Like, just completely forgot you don't get drops here until you move. <laughs> like, I don't even think you get drops here after you move. I think I'm thinking of Black Ops 4, rather than Black Ops, like, you know, 1 slash 3. 
Oh my god, this RPG is not the one. It's very powerful, but this weird delay thing that I have between shooting and moving is not what I like. Also, this ump, also not what I'm really like. Wait, no, this dog is so fast. Oh my god. I actually think the perk I'd want more than anything right now is stamina up. These dogs are so, un like, terrifyingly quick, basically. They move so fast. Way faster than I can move, and, uh... Yeah, this is gonna- this is not good. Actually, though, to be fair, getting Jug is such a godsend, because at least I can survive a couple of hits before I actually need to panic. <laughs> Which is kind of good! <laughs> oh my god, I hate this! I will say, though, I do think it's great. Like, I do think... Oh my god, that was a really bad time to switch guns. <laughs> I was gonna say, I do really think Area 51... Oh my god, that scared me. And, like, other, uh, liminal spaces, if you will, like these, uh, no man's land kind of areas, and we have the one in Forsaken. Not as good as this, but I do really, really like them. Like, I kind of wish they did it more. Like, you know, like, if there's, if there's one, like, map-specific kind of design I'd like to see as, at, uh, in Black Ops 6, it's something like this. Like, just a nice, like, s uh, spawn where everything is just kind of chaotic immediately. Would be nice. I'd, I'd be I'd be very welcome to it. I do kind of like this kind of stuff. Or just, like, areas in the map that just, like, naturally spawn, like, a bunch of enemies. Like, for instance, in Blood of the Dead, you know, you open up the bridge to, to get into the main part of the map, and, like, all the zombies spawn, all the dogs, and you got Brutus and whatever else. Like, stuff like that. Kind of, I kind of wish we had it more in zombies, rather than it just being, oh my god, no, I haven't had... God damn it. Well, that's the motion number two. <laughs> I just got lost in where I was walking. God damn it. But as I was saying, I just feel like we don't have enough of this kind of like, oh my god, oh my god, like variation in how zombies spawn and how we kill things. I mean, we've got plenty of variation in how we kill things. You know, I know what I mean. <laughs> and I think that's kind of one of the things that I do really, really like about um, objective-based like, game modes and, like, you know, MWZ and Outbreak or whatever, it's, like, the way you kill zombies is a lot more engaging to me personally. Like, especially, like, for instance, in MWZ, going after those, like, HVT contracts and, like, chasing down those big bounties, like, the really, really powerful versions of Elites. Love it. It's great. Absolutely love it. Would be more than happy to have some kind of, like, HVT bounty mechanic in Black Ops 6. You know, it's like it spawns in like a high-powered enemy on the map somewhere. You gotta go kill it. You get like a bunch of points. Maybe you get a free perk. You get a free pack punch gun from it. You get, I don't know, you get a, a gobble gun for free. Whatever it is. I think that'd be pretty sick. I know, obviously, all of the, mm, no, Mega Zombies have to be completely the way it was in 2011, gang, are gonna cry at the idea of something like that. But I think it would be pretty dope, personally. Also, the fact that my waffling has only got me down to nine minutes of gameplay so far, and I'm still 96 guns on the board. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is great. This is so not fun. This is going to take me forever. <laughs> Actually, for I just kind of always forget that there's 132 weapons to work through in this mod when you've got Pack-A-Punch. My god, these dogs are getting so aggressive. Like, they're getting way more aggressive than I'm used to. Like, I swear, like, every time that, uh, uh, siren goes, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like I said, not the biggest moon fan, don't really know a whole bunch about this map, so I'm sure some moon, uh, nerds out there will inform me more so on this. Like, I'm fairly certain every time that happens, um, <laughs> those dogs are getting way stronger. Like, a little bit quicker, a little bit more health, and I am just getting a little bit closer to entering what may be hell. Oh my god. MP7, still awful. I, oh my god, I don't even have double tap. Oh my god, no! I think that's probably gonna be something that actually, oh my, I just ducked and weaved and like dodged in real life then, like between <laughs> all those zombies. I don't know if you could hear from like the mic or whatever. That scared the crap out of me. Did not like that, was not a fan. I'm not a fan of these guns either. Like it's, it's kind of surreal using a weapon like this. Like, be f fighting zombies like this, and not having, like, Jug. And uh, not having, like, Jug. I have Jug. Not having, like, Double Tap. Shh. Oh, yeah, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Actually, no, this might be pretty good, because it's all... I think I just killed... Oh, I killed so many zombies then. This is not good. I take that back. I take everything back that I may have just said. Oh, my God. I was gonna say, it might not be that bad. 
because I can line them all up and then put them all down. But, <laughs> but, that does mean more things are going to start spawning. And I'm, I'm just going to get trapped because the aim is not on today. And also the fact that trying to like use a goddamn 50 caliber sniper whilst simultaneously trying to kill regular zombies and dogs that are running at me is not the play. Also, this scope, not a fan. I know I'm just spitting out, um, ex uh, what's the word? <laughs> Excuses for the fun of it. I don't care. I'm allowed to, okay? Although I will say, pack a punch right tech. Big fan of this. Actually, you know what? I will go. I, I will say one thing. I would love more in zombies is just like wacky and wild pack a punch like uh, effects and whatever. Like, sure, they gave us Mustang and Sally. It's pretty cool. You get two pistols and you pack a bunch of starting pistol. You know, they fire grenades. It's fun. It's whimsical. It's quirky. We like that. You know, RPGs sometimes get upwards of like ten rounds a magazine. It's fun. We like stuff like that. I wish they did more of it, you know, I wish they did more of it. Like, being someone who plays a lot of games where weapons are kind of seen as, like, these fun- Oh my god, my guns are so useless now, I don't even think I'm killing things. <laughs> I'm so screwed! Oh, this is not good! This, this FAMOS is so weak. Oh my god, they are so strong. <laughs> as I was saying, being someone who plays a lot of games where, like, guns are kind of seen as, like, an extension of, like, the character, and, like, they're they're not just a weapon that fires bullets and kills things. They have other things going for them. Perks, attributes, you know, maybe, like, a quirky firing style or whatever. You know, from just, you know, playing games growing up, like Borderlands and, you know, specifically Borderlands, but, like, guns like that do have those quirky mechanics, like, I don't know. The, uh, what's the pistol called? Oh, my God. Oh my god, what's the pistol called? Everyone who plays Borderlands is gonna know exactly what I mean. It's the explosive pistol. You get it from... Uh, one of the first bosses you fight in, B in Borderlands 2. Oh my god, what's it called? Oh my god, it is called something. I don't remember. <laughs> but you know what I mean, if you fire out, it's like it fires out on like a, a, like a horizontal line of like anywhere from like five to like nine shots, I think it is. Oh my god, what's it called? I haven't played Borderlands in so long, that's gonna annoy me for like the rest of the day until I figure this out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you know what? We're gonna move on. <laughs> All like games, like I said, Destiny, where you've got a perk system. It's like, you can have a gun that rolls with your minor perks. One is usually the, the, um, the, the barrel, you know, which will affect things like stability and range and whatever else. The other will be the mag, which obviously affects, again, stability, but also, uh, the amount of bullets, reload speed, whatever else. You'll then have, like, your major perks, which is, like, that's where the fun stuff is. You usually have, like, a reload perk, one that will affect your guns, like, how it reloads and the effect that happens after you reload. For instance, you might have, like, I don't know, subsistence. Killing an enemy will partially refill the magazine. Pretty cool. And then you might have, like, a damage perk after that, which could be, say, a uh, rampage. Kills increased damage, and it stacks up to three times, or whatever else, whatever. You know, stuff like that. I just kind of wish Call of Duty implemented that a bit more into zombies. I just feel like it would make this game so much more replayable, I think. I mean, for me, it would. I know, obviously, like I said, the... Oh my god, I just... God damn it. <laughs> God's sake. I hate using this gun with this sight. I, it's so awful. But I just feel like if they did stuff like that, that crowd of people that absolutely detest any change in zombies would have a fit and probably, like, you know, <laughs> do some very unholy things. I do think those are some risks that are more than worth. Oh my god, don't hit me again, please. I don't want to get demoed even more. This Drakon actually kind of sucks with this sight. I do not like it. Like, these zombies are pretty goddamn strong. Guns aren't doing the business anymore. The snipers are just not that good. This Dracon has gone from being one of the- Wait, why am I using the Dracon? I've only just, like... Oh, this fucking dog. I hate this dog. The- oh, I hate them so much. <laughs> why am I using a Dracon? This is the MW2019, like, weapons one. I've been sat here for the past, like, couple of minutes talking about, like, guns and whatever. I've just, it's literally just clicked in my brain what I'm using. Very strange. Do you know what? We're just gonna have to try and get off this and see what's next because I don't understand why this is here. How many, I would like to know how many times I've actually shot these zombies and how many of them I've actually killed since using the Tracon because I think the bullets fired to kills earned ratio is going to be pretty wild. Like 12 zombies with this gun since using it, <laughs> like genuinely. 
And I think most of them have been dogs. Come on, please. I'm so close. I've got 340 points. Go away. I understand now why Dempsey screams at dogs every time he sees them in this game. Like, I get it. <laughs> I really do get it. Oh my god. The, what is going- why am I on Black Ops 3 guns? I don't get this. I will say though, this might be absolute hell. But uh, I have error playing in my ears, and it's making life so much better. <laughs> like, so much better. It's a bit much. That even when my sniper isn't killing zombies, I've fired maybe 100 bullets so far with this gun. I've hardly killed any regular zombies. The only thing I'm killing is dogs. And it's taking me like four minutes to get off this thing. Three minutes or whatever. Like every bullet I fire gets 30 points. Okay, no, we're back on MW2019 guns. So I guess maybe they fluff it out a bit with snipers from Black Ops 3. I don't know why they're in there. Have they just replaced MW2019 like snipers on this map with Black Ops 3 ones? I don't really get that. Like at all, actually. Do not understand. One thing I do understand, though, is actually this might get a bit easier the higher the level round timer goes, whatever it is, uh, because the guns obviously don't do as much damage now, uh, you know, in obviously relation to zombie health. So <laughs> I can just hold down the trigger, fire an uncopious amount of bullets into these zombies, not have them die, and then keep repeating that and just farm points as you can kind of see. Like with the pack a punch, get through some of these guns so quickly, and then it gives you a goddamn fucking start from again. And it's hell because now it takes me six minutes to get through this goddamn gun. <laughs> My God, do you know the name for this gun being the skid mark is very fitting because this gun sucks. All right, it's taking me so long to get through these, and the fact that it's been pack a punch for the most part, and it's just like chipping away at these points. It does nothing. Like, what other snipers are in here? The HDR, the AX50, hell, <laughs> actual hell. At least it reloads quickly when it's pack a punch, though. I just wish it could get me some more points because, like, 30 to 40 points per bullet. Not the play. And what's the bet? It's going to give me another sniper slash marksman rifle the second I end this. Yeah. Oh, no, it gave me the Amax. Actually, this is great. God, I missed this gun. I actually, <laughs> I think one of the things why I love about this mod so much is just, like, the kind of nostalgia it brings with it. Like, you know, end of 2019 was only five years ago, right? Like, it wasn't that long ago. But obviously it ha it came out and like Warzone or whatever all happened at like a very uh, tumultuous time I think in a lot of people's lives like obviously COVID and lockdown and you know Warzone was like really at the height of its uh, its time and whatever and everyone was playing it everyone was just having like a pretty good time but making the best out of the uh, the moment or whatever with what we were given and whatnot because obviously you know the world coming to an end basically <laughs> and it's just it's so nice. Just going back and, like, re-experiencing some of these weapons that I spent so many hours playing with, like, in just so many different, like, aspects of that game. Like, it's the only time, I think, where I've actually cared about a Battle Royale in my entire life. And I would do anything to go back to that period of time. Because, man, I do kind of miss it. And yes, I am pack-a-punching snipers. I do not care. This is going to take me 10 minutes per sniper rifle to get through this. I'm... At least gonna try and make this just a little bit better. 271 points, and I never need to see the Con 98 ever again in my life. Well, that is until the next gun game slash stupid challenge I do where this gun so happens to feature. Thank God. Oh my God, my hand hurts after that. So much clicking. Now I just get to hold down the trigger and not do anything. Like, look at the points. It just... It, oh, it's so much nicer. Just watching that point tally plummet within seconds rather than just, like, watching it slowly plink plunk all the way to zero. I look at it. Oh, it's bliss. Like, what is this? The foul? There's there's some guns in this mod that I genuinely don't remember being in this game. Like, obviously, the BO3 snipers <laughs> clearly don't exist. Uh, but the foul? Was this in this game? I don't remember it. Like, at all. Oh, dear Christ. There's more of them there still than I thought there was. Like, genuinely don't remember the foul in MW2019. And I think a lot of it might also come down to the fact that, like, we haven't had regular gun names in... Call of Duty since this game. Obviously now, you know, we have all the made-up names because <laughs> they clearly just don't want to pay, uh, pay the licensing to get, like, real names in the game and whatnot. So I, I think that's just kind of messing with my brain. Like, I don't remember the last time a foul was actually in Call of Duty from recollection. Like, obviously I know 
MW 2019, but like, I don't remember if that makes sense. Oh my god, it's so nice just having fully automatic guns and you can just like, farm your way through the points. Hopefully I don't need to touch any snipers now until like, well, ever. Oh my fucking god. Oh! oh my god, we're finally almost off the SPR. I've been here, just brain off. Silently, mindlessly shooting things, waiting for this to be promoted. Oh my god, I almost got stuck on the doorway. Thank god, it's out. It's over. I can just blast a little bit. Like, I get it, alright? SKS. Probably not the most glamorous, but I can get through these points so much quicker with this gun. <laughs> like, oh, it's great. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. Slower than an AR. Still ten times faster than any sniper slash bolt action gun there is in this game. It's... Hell. It's not hell because it's difficult, it's hell because it's boring. Like I said, thankfully I've just got a bit of, a bit of, you know, a bit of music playing to get me going through this, and obviously I can just edit through for you, but my god, those snipers take forever. Oh, what a gun, the AN-94. What an absolute heater of a weapon. I know it makes absolutely zero sense for this to come back in, in a Cold War. I want it to. <laughs> Actually, I don't know when this gun was originally released. Like, you know, what era this came out. I think it was like the, what was it, the late 90s, early 2000s? Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares about time relevancy? Just just throw it in for the, for the fun of it, please. For me. I actually pay very big amounts of real money to just have that weapon available to me in every single game I play. <laughs> Even if guns aren't in the game, I just, I want it. It's so good. It's such a good, such a good time in anything it's in. Oh, that's a grenade launcher. I don't want to blow myself up, but this could be good for points. Mm, I take that back. It's not good for points. <laughs> Let's just shoot things. Shooting things is so much better. Also, the fact that I've had no dog spawn for the past... I don't know. Feels like the last five or ten minutes. I think it's because I'm at that point now. I probably have, like... These have to be at minimum, like... Round 70, round 80, maybe even, like, close to round 100 tier zombies. I'm not killing anything anymore. Like, I genuinely think this t this 24 bunch of zombies I've got are going to be the 24 I'm shooting until the game ends. Hopefully I can kill at least one or two more. Am I just going to be stuck at 581 kills now for the rest of the game? suppose time will tell. I mean, surely, all right, I'm going to have to shoot one or two of these zombies enough to the point where they will die. But I don't know if that uh, siren resets health uh, values for the zombies at all. Like, I don't know. Like, like I said, man, I just, I don't know this map at all. I don't know how the... The mechanics work in here. Kind of wish I did though, so I knew exactly what I was fighting. I mean, right now I'm fighting my goddamn sanity because I absolutely despise this weapon. Thank God. Oh, and it's fully automatic. Oh my God, I'm saved. I mean, not really though, because it still sucks. God, it's just not a good weapon. I will fight literally anyone and everyone who thinks the SVD slash Dragonov is good. It's not. All right, this thing stinks. Get it in the bin. And I don't care if it's good or wrong. Oh my god, do not. Jesus Christ, the game the, the game fought back. It heard me talking shit and was just like, hmm, <laughs> I don't think so. Fuck my life. How many points do I get per shot? 30 sick. All right, I'll see you in five minutes again. I killed a zombie. Oh my god, I actually killed something. Holy hell, what did I kill? <laughs> Which one of you did I murder? Oh my god, it's actually so great. Having dogs spawning again, so I can actually just have the satisfaction of blowing them up. <laughs> oh, that feels great. I actually, I actually killed a regular zombie. Oh my god, that's incredible. HDR must be putting out some massive damage for that to happen. I actually think watching paint dry right now would be more enjoyable. Like, genuinely. This is just my life. During this part. Like, this is what you don't see. It's just me doing this. This is it. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Although, luckily for me, I do think there's maybe only one sniper left after the HDR. I was also really hoping that I would have been off this by now, but I'm not. All right, please, one more shot. Thank God. Oh, the SIG 556. 552. Why is it called the 552? That's such a stupid name. <laughs> anyway. I think there's maybe only the AX-50 left in terms of snipers, which has me feeling a lot more excited for the rest of this. I think now we just have the fun time of ARs and LMGs. I think that's literally all that's uh, ahead of me. What, 23 guns? We got, I, I don't know how many... We've not, not done a single LMG yet, and there's like seven of them in this game. That's got me feeling pretty good. Obviously the AX-50. I think there's a couple SMGs I've not used yet, maybe. God, we're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, the, it wouldn't. The baby. The man itself. The mo- the man of the hour. God, I love this gun. 
Again, I would do... So I would do anything. Anything. To have this weapon back. Man, I loved this thing. I don't know what it was. Like, it wasn't that good. <laughs> like, it really wasn't. In MW 2019, it was just fun. Man, it was just such a fun weapon. And I think it was also the first gun of the year to get, like, an anime camo. <laughs> Which, you know, I obviously bought. Like, come on. And I think just that novelty was something that drew me to it. Oh, well, yes. M14, what are you doing here? <laughs> Such a weird amalgamation of weapons in this, man. Like, I've just got BO3 snipers and M14. Like, okay. <laughs> this is just... I don't get it. I'm assuming... I'm assuming then, like, some weapons just wouldn't work on the map, I'm guessing. So they just got replaced with, like, BO3 counterparts. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> Like, did the EBR just not, like, want to work on the map or something? Like, is that what's going on here? Oh my god, just hurry up, though. My, my hand, like, clicking this much hurts my fingies. I want it. Fully automatic guns only, please. I'm begging you. My hand is actually cramping up. The amount of goddamn clicking I have to do for snipers and semi-automatic guns. Because, obviously, zombies don't die, so it's just consistent threat that I have to take care of. Like, I have just have no time to... Sit still. Oh my god, the Val. Every time I use this gun, it makes me happy. If this doesn't return in Black Ops 6, I might actually throw a fit. <laughs> like, straight up. Like, I have no indication as to why this, uh, will return, but it better add. Oh my god. RPK, AK-47, whatever it is, we're getting there. I can just, it's, I'm in, I'm in the end game now, you know? I know there's a sniper, or there should be a sniper sitting down here waiting for me to come across it, which I think is the AX-50. But I just know that most of these weapons now are just fun, easy-going time, and we're getting so much closer to that victory. There it is, AX-50. <sighs> Alright, well... <laughs> I guess I get to go back to hell for a bit. Oh, I got Thunderwall! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> I put an AAT on my gun. No rules say I can't. <laughs> Not that this is actually- Actually, no, this does get me more points. I'll take that back. You get 50 per kill. Oh my god, bro. It's gonna spawn a bunch of dogs in front of me that can actually murder me. Mm -hmm. I made mistake. I made mistake. I just want to get off the sniper quicker, man. <laughs> like, I'm doing anything and everything that I can to get off it sooner. If that means getting a little thunder wall, I'll take it. There we go. I just don't want a dog to spawn on me. That's the only- That's the only, uh ask I have is you do not spawn a hellhound next to me. Alright, I think that's it. I think that is it. Sniper rifles, I'm like 95% certain are done. Which is great. Now it's just all... Oh my god, where the hell did that dog come from? You f f well and truly could have just screwed everything up for me. Luckily he didn't. It looks like we're also now just getting consistent dog spawns, which I kind of like. I think I also killed another zombie, like an actual real one, normally. That's kind of cool. I'm actually, like, impressed when I get a kill. Oh, no, there's the EBR. So I wonder what the M14 was there to replace then, or just why it was there in general. Come on, my game is just now getting really laggy for some reason. I don't know why. Do not like that. All right, LMG time. Why is it the RPK? Who knows? I don't. Oh, my God, my game is dying right now. The hell is going on? I pause for two seconds so I can stretch and then all of a sudden everything breaks. What is this? Sabotage. Oh my god, LMGs is just, it's so good. Just having weapons I don't need to think about. I can just literally just click one button, keep a hold of it, and I don't have to think. It's great, although how... Honestly, didn't think I'd have to reload. Come on now, what is this? I also love the fact that it has like a rear sight on it. You can just about see that this gun has a rear sight. Why? What is the point? Like, the most useless, uh, most useless thing I've ever seen. All right, M91 into blow up double XL. I'm assuming that's in reference to something that I don't know what. Maybe I do. Who knows? <laughs> I swear to God, if I get surprised by another sniper slash semi-automatic, whatever weapon down here, I'm going to be very upset. You've shown me the promised land of LMGs. You cannot take it away from me now. All right. It's as simple as that. Also, this gun is so loud. Like, I don't know if you can hear it. Like, every time I stop firing, there's, like, an echo of this weapon just firing off in the distance. It's ridiculously loud. 21 guns left. That means there's, like, what, 10 actual... Oh, minigun! 
Yeah. I'm actually kill someone with this. Oh no, I ran wrong. Oh no. Okay, this gun's so heavy. I gotta concentrate, 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 concentrate. Yes. That's the one. The one benefit is that having many zombies all just bunched up together that I can't kill is that it does making training them a little easier. Although I will say the one downside to having all these LMGs is they are so ex they're so heavy. It's like running around with them is not made easy. Come on, we're so close. I'm so close. I can feel it. I can taste it. Why have I got this? I've okay. Never. Mind. I thought this was the chainsaw again. I got very confused. The fin. Why does it look so similar to like the chainsaw slash the raw? Like, it's literally, it's identical, it's just a different color. What's the point of this thing? I always forget the MG34 was in MW 2019. Just does not fit at all, but who cares? Yeah. Just love seeing those points just get deleted by some of these guns. Like, I'm not killing anything, <laughs> but that point tally just plummets. And my god, it makes me feel so good. Like, I'm not even looking at the zombies anymore, I'm just staring at the points, watching them fall. It's so satisfying. Like, you don't understand the hell that it is going through this. Using sniper rifles, getting 40 points every, like, two seconds, three seconds. It's not fun. When I can just watch 2,000 points just disappear in, like, five seconds. Oh my god, it's bliss. It's bliss. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's, like, one of the best things I've ever seen. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, eight guns left, though. We're so close. I think I may have just killed another zombie. Possibly. I don't think I did. Never mind. Nothing else spawned. Unless a regular zombie spawning. What have we got for wonder weapons? Oh, we got the- Oh, <laughs> that's a shame! I was not expecting to get these. Can I combine them? Can I combine them? Let me com- Wait, what is the- Oh my god, I'm killing things now again? Oh my god, things are spawning. I'm killing things again. I forgot. Wait, how do I combine them? What is the keybind to combine them? This is- Oh, I did not think I'd get the zap guns though. This is sick. I haven't used these things in years. This is great. I love this. I just, I want to, let me, I want wave gun. Let me, aha, there we go. I got it. That's the keybind. That's a weird key. Why is it six on my keyboard for some reason? Everything else, it's like either a mouse button or four or holding R. This is weird. I love it. Oh, I love, not, not, oh, this is, I think I'm going to, one of the best one of the weapons you've ever had, by the way. Such a good gun. Look, and then they all die. Infinite. Oh, I love this thing so much. The only issue is it doesn't give you very many points. So we are going to go back to these and just get the blast them. I do want to progress this. I mean, I do also have a pack bunch version of it to use, so it's not like we're getting rid of it so soon. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, please. No! Oh, my God, it's the first demotion I've taken in literal, like, 70 guns. I mean, it's not a bad demotion to take. I mean, <laughs> I get to use a fun gun. Oh, my God, what am I stuck on? No, I'm taking... Oh, my God, don't. I've, I'm getting cocky. I'm getting too confident. I've not had to deal with respawning zombies in so long, and now I am. I'm f I've forgotten how- this is actually harder to use than any of the snipers I've had over the last, like, 42 minutes. 52 minutes, I can't even count. Oh my god. I know it makes absolutely zero sense, but petition to bring this weapon back. Like, bin off the ray gun, give me the zap gun back. Although, I don't remember this version of the gun being this powerful. Was the, was the zap gun, like, was the actual zap gun part of this always as strong as it is currently? I don't remember it being this strong. But I don't, like I said, I don't play this map much, so maybe it is this strong, and I'm just... Misremembering. Although, actually, if I'm to be totally honest, I think this is the first time I've ever used the zap gun in BO3. Like, genuinely. That's how little I play Moon. I think my only ever real experiences with this weapon are on Black Ops 1. Which, now that I say that aloud, it does feel correct and also a little wrong. The disappointment I'm about to feel going from a, a zap gun to a, a ray gun is, yeah, that is pain. <laughs> that is. Some unreal levels of pain right there. Going from one of the best wonder weapons to just trash. Like, I would much rather this have been gun number, like, six. And then, like, the, like, Mark II, which I'm assuming is going to be the number one gun, was, like, in this position. And then the Zap gun was last. That would have been, like, a nice surprise to end with the Zap gun. Rather than to have it, like, the third to last weapon. Because the Ray gun is just boring. And it's also really bad. <laughs> Alright, come on. Just a little longer. A little longer. Do you know what? Give me a Thunder gun. No, you give me a Mark II. I don't get me wrong, the Mark II's fun. I, I'm gonna get, like, loads of points from it. But, like, it just doesn't reach the highs of the Zap Gun, man. The Zap Gun's just so much fun. 
Oh my god, I almost got oof, almost trapped myself and got killed. Well, now I'm actually using the ray weapons. I am wondering if they're going to continue on with this theme of like bringing in new ray versions of weapons. Like obviously, we've got the Mark 1 through to the Mark 3. We've now also got the Ray K, which is in the same like, you know, like a ray, it's a ray gun is what I should say. I wonder if we're going to get like another version of it in Black Ops 6. Like maybe like <laughs> the Ray M and it's just a massive machine gun. They would never do that. That would be so unbelievably broke. Oh, actually saying that, have we ever gotten a, a machine, like an LMG style wonder weapon? I don't think we have. And I think it's time we do get one. <laughs> and with that, finally, after an hour, my God, that took me way longer than I thought it would. We have beaten gun game in area 51. That was started off really difficult. Then it got really easy. <laughs> And then it got like really difficult for like a little bit with the zap gun and then it got really easy again. But with that, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other challenges you want to see from me. My name has been Satch and I'll see you in the next one.